everyone and welcome to Brazil. In this session, let's focus on basic facts about Brazil. How much do you already know about Brazil? Where is it? What do the local people speak? What are its major cities? According to the World Tourism Organization, Brazil is widely recognized as one of the world's most captivating countries for its beautiful nature and cultural roots. Currently, 23 properties across Brazil are inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List, including both natural and cultural heritages. In this video, we are going to focus on the natural features of the land, the local people, the official language, and its capital city. Let's get started. Brazil locates in the central eastern part of South America and occupies half the continent's land mass. It is the largest country in South America and the fifth largest nation in the world, exceeded in size only by Russia, Canada, China, and the United States. Brazil forms an enormous triangle on the eastern side of the South America continent with a 7,400 km coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. It has borders with every South American country except Chile and Ecuador. As a big country, Brazil has very varied geography. It covers a wide range of tropical and subtropical landscapes, including wetlands, grasslands, plateaus, and low mountains. Above all, Brazil is most well known for the Amazon. The country contains most of the Amazon River Basin, which has the world's largest river system and the world's most extensive rainforest. The Amazon is not one river, but a network of many hundreds of waterways. Its total length stretches over 6,000 kilometers. The Amazon plays a crucial role in regulating the climate, with its trees absorbing and storing millions of tons of carbon dioxide, a key greenhouse gas that drives global climate change. Unfortunately, intense fire broke out in the Amazon. As captured global attention in 2019, fires again ranged throughout the region in 2020 and 2021. While the bulk of the Amazon remains intact, the increasing rate of deforestation and fires could have dire consequences for the rainforest and the world, especially as global temperature continues to rise. As the Amazon is often considered the lungs of the Earth, it needs close attention. Next. Let's talk about the Brazilian people. Brazil is a country with the fifth largest population in the world, after China, India, the USA, and Indonesia. Brazilians are known as an ethnically diverse people with ancestors from the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The original residents of Brazil are now called indigenous people. They are also described as original or native because they were here before the European occupation. The first Europeans to arrive in Brazil were the Portuguese and the African slaves came along with them. Starting in the 19th century, waves of immigrants from Europe and Asia landed in Brazil. Marriages between different ethnicities were very common in Brazil. Thus, 
giving rise to a greater racial diversity. The great majority of the white Brazilian people are of European origin. The concept of white people in Brazil is different from other countries. According to a survey conducted by the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, 52% of respondents who classified themselves as white acknowledged that they have African or indigenous ancestors. Thus, in Brazil, it is normal for people to know that they have black or Indian ancestry. And even if they see themselves as white, the Brazilians whose African features are more evident are always or frequently seen by others as Afro-Brazilians. Historians suggest that Brazil received about 38% of all African slaves who were brought to America. Brazil was by far the country that received the most slaves in the world. Consequently, it is a country with a major African community outside of Africa. Brazil also received many immigrants from Asia, from both the Middle East and the East Asia. Most Asian Brazilians have roots in East Asia, most of them Japanese. In the first decade of the 20th century, the Brazilian and the Japanese governments signed a treaty permitting Japanese migration to Brazil. This was due to the decrease in the European immigration to Brazil and the new labor shortage on the coffee plantations. Currently, the Japanese population in Brazil is estimated at 2 million people, which is the largest Japanese community outside Japan. What languages are spoken in Brazil? Portugal established its first colony in Brazil in 1530. Communist rule was completely ended in 1889 when Brazil became a federal republic. Today, Brazil is the only Portuguese-speaking country in South America. The Brazilian Portuguese is slightly different to the Portuguese spoken in Portugal. The pronunciation sounds different and some of the words are used only in Brazil. Brazilian Portuguese is the set of dialects of the Portuguese language native to Brazil and the most influential form of Portuguese worldwide. Given its diversity of cultures, many Brazilians can speak English or Spanish and in some states the locals also speak indigenous language and other languages. Among all attractions, I want to draw your attention to Brasilia. Brasilia, the capital city, is located on central plateau of Brazil at an elevation of some 1,100 meters. It was created out of nothing in the central western part of the country from 1956 to 1960. It was a landmark of 20th century urbanism. Brasilia is celebrated for its modern architecture and revolutionary design. The plan of the capital city has been likened to a bird or an airplane. Its form is emphasized by the highway axis which curve from the north to the southwest and links Brasilia's main residential neighborhoods. And the straight monumental axis, which runs northwest to southeast, is linked by feudal and civic buildings. And the northwestern end of the monumental axis are federal district and municipal buildings while at the southeastern end stands the executive 
judicial and legislative buildings around the square of three powers, the conceptual heart of the city. Because of its unique city plan and architecture, as well as its vital role in the development of the Brazilian national modernization, the city made its inclusion on the UNESCO's World Heritage Site in 1987. Interestingly, among all cities that were founded during the 20th century, Brasilia is the only one that has been awarded the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The criteria for this honored title are strict bearing evidence to the innovation and the creativity of this modern city. Well, we have had a quick and thorough look at Brazil from its location and the Amazon, people, languages, and Brasilia. I hope you now have a better understanding about Brazil. See you next time. Thank you.